Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basic showing how you can use the command line in the terminal to run almost every program that is in Ubuntu. When we have the U Unity menu and we go over here and we search our applications and there are hundreds, thousands of them, they've all got a graphical user interface and this is for the most part all done at our convenience. For example, VLC, you tap this here and you get a beautiful graphical interface and handbrake, same thing. But both of those programs and virtually every other one of them up here can be run from the command line. And you might ask, well, since they built the graphical user interface, what is the point of using the command line? Well, sometimes you get a finer sense of control and you can do things that you can't normally do. And I'm going to give an example. Here I've got CVLC. This is uh, the command line VLC and I'm going to open this up and this is a text file that can be either read or executed and I'm right now just going to display it and I'm going to show you one file that is going to show uh, VLC and how you can run it. Let me uh, zoom in on this and you can see it a little clearer that way I hope. In the black I've got a command that you would put in at the terminal or instead of copying that black text and then pasting it into a terminal you can just run this gedit program. Now it's easy to interpret the switches and the switches are all preceded by a single dash or a double dash and we're running command VLC and then the F is full screen and the dash dash no OSD that tells the screen not to put the title on it. I want to play this no audio, no video, no video title showing and then I can change the rate, the speed at which it plays and then last I tell it the file to use. And in blue down here with the crosshatches I've given some uh, additional information. For example, I've got a check mark in properties in this gedit file that tells the gedit file to treat this as a program and it will run this program. That way you don't have to cut and paste into a terminal. The C means it's command line interpreter and you can open the terminal with control alt T. You can always use the unity menu to open up terminal. Sometimes the control alt T doesn't work and you'll have to fuss with it. F is full screen. No OSD. Oh that is the current speed message. I, f I forgot my my own uh, instructions here and that's why I wrote them down no video title keeps the title from briefly appearing and you can change the speed at which this thing runs or if you want to you can do that manually with uh, uh, square brackets now here is a convention that I used I used a tilde and put it in front of slash capital desktop slash file name whatever your file name is and that is a shorthand for slash home slash user slash capital desktop. Now my username is pop but it starts off being user and you'll have to put in your own username. Now I put in file name mkv but you can put in anything you want and you'll have to change that every single time. If your video is in not the desktop but on the documents folder you would change that around and you would put in slash home slash user slash capital documents or you could just put in tilde slash capital documents slash file name like that. I want to demonstrate this thing but before doing that let me close this and I'm going to open up a terminal and when I open up a terminal, 
I'm going to put in C V L C dash dash help. Let me zoom in on this a little bit better. And you can see that there are a multitude of switches. You can do anything you want. You can get very precise on the control of this. When you're using the terminal and you go up to the side here and you go to the top, you might at first think, oh gee, I've gone to the top and now I can't go any higher. But what you can do is relocate this little gizmo and move it down and you can do it over again. In other words, you could have as long as a book and, it was, and still navigate. All of these different options are available and you can play with them all day long. I am going to uh, open up uh, a file here and I'll show you how this thing works. First I'm going to close this off and I'm going to splice these two videos together. I'm going to open up a video right now by going over to the files folders and I'm going to right click and it shows videos and when the video folder opens up I'm going to find a video in here I'll do a cat video because that will be in the public domain now these are JPG and so they are not uh, videos they're just still pictures and well I've got one here gee whiz uh, I've got to find a nice cat video this one will work and I'm going to click it control C close control V and there it is now I just want to change the name to something simple rename I'm going to call it a okay now if I open this up with VLC you'll see how it looks when it opens up directly it's got on the bottom uh, all of the stuff I can get rid of that with control H and go full screen quite normally though I've got F11 and it shows the whole nine yards so let me close that and I'm going to now open it up with the command line version and I'm going to open up the command line version display it and when it opens up here I'm going to edit the file name to A Was that M MP4? I have to make sure that's right. And I'm also going to change the speed. I'm going to change the rate at which this thing plays to 0.5. It's going to go half speed. And that's MP4, correct. All right, now I'm going to save this file. I'll just diminish it. Now I'm going to close, I'm going to uh, tap on this and open it. And I'm going to run it in the terminal. And you'll see it's, it's going to go full screen and it's not going to have the stuff on the bottom. Now you can see it's running at slow speed, half speed. I'm going to hit the uh, on the square brackets and the right brackets. Uh, I'll just tap them repeatedly. Now normally uh, I slowed it down to just a crawl. I'm speeding it up with the right bracket. And there it goes again. You can hit pause also. Now remember I told it not to show an on-screen message. You can do just hundreds of variations of this and it's it's very handy. Uh, you can use 
the command line version in a terminal of any program and one that is especially nice to use is Handbrake. Handbrake allows you to do batch control of this, the things that you do over and over and over again. That is pretty much all I got. I am going to go control alt 1 and I put this in the bottom of the corner and I'm going to go diminish and now I am going to go shift control X and that will be the end of it. My name is Pop. I've got a whole bunch of videos in YouTube basics and I thank you very very much.